All right, so the first card in the environment, which is actually a pretty auspicious card, Pisces, it could go, well, it just is. This is a life-changing card. It's the Eight of Cups, Eight of Chalices, like I said. Um, this card is definitely about a, a new journey for you, whether it's career or whether it's personal development or a physical move or a change in job. Something is affecting you that is elevates you to a higher level. Of It could be spiritual level, social level, but feeling buoyed by the circumstances. Now, you are leaving behind, you know, here's the eight cups. So it's a matter, too, of leaving behind familiar surroundings or people or places for some of you. Again, watch your moon and rising signs. I always suggest that you do that. But it's, it's you're moving past what has been real challenge for some of you. I'm hearing the word netscapes, netscopes. I mean, I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe you're networking the people that you've been involved with and tangled with, or there's been some of that, and you're you're coming out of that. Interesting, interesting. Netscope, Netscape. I mean, I, I can figure out what a Netscape might look like, but anyway, that came into play. Um, you can see how there's the big bird here. He's the corm cormorant. He's a symbol of transformation and skills and independence. So this being in your foundation card, some of you guys are needing to move on from where you are. The foundation, the environment is, okay, come on, let's get things going. Let's get things moving. It's um, This is a big life change, and you're ready to go forward. You're ready to leave behind other stuff. Even if it's been good for you, there's lessons he has in his sack here that he, and he has his hand on his chin, so he doesn't know exactly how this is going to work out. But take with you, this is about taking with you what's worked for you. And what hasn't, you're leaving behind. All right? Okay, Pisces. So in your challenge position is the Five of Pentacles. Well, this card is, you know, it's a five. Okay, so five in the, in the, um, Traditional tarot always means, you know, it can mean change. It can mean having to uh, surmount obstacles. So it could mean that, you know, you've been passed over for a promotion. Or you might be feeling like there's financial problems, possibly financial ruin for some of you guys. Or the money, that the money's very tight. See, so yeah, she's sitting under the five pentacles. And the the lit stones behind her, if she just turns around, there is there is positivity. There is light at the end of the tunnel. She just needs to look at what her possibilities really are and 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 face those. So that might be your challenge, Pisces. If well, okay, I said this last time too. It just hit me that the beginning of the February readings, I believe it's when it was, a couple of you all emailed me and put on under the comments that Pisces have really been through it. And so I forgot exactly what I was just getting ready to say, but I think a lot of you have felt like, you know, under the weather, under the financial weather, um, challenging. See how she's dressed. I mean, I'm not saying you're dressed that way, but it's a, it's a sort of a drab feeling. So this may have been and may be your, your challenge is to turn around and, and just say, okay, what do I have? What in my life do I have? Whether it's a material object, a table, a chair, a bed, and look at the positive side so that you can start your trajectory is more of putting the positive out there and seeing the light. That's, I think that's where I was going. Instead of focusing on, see how she's turned around. She's like, no, I'm, it's been, it's been too, it's been a lot. That's what she's feeling. But, you know, keep your, 
keep your net scope open, I guess is what I want to say. What I was the word I said a minute ago. That could be that you're <clears throat> putting out feelers. Other invitations come up for you. Alright? If you if you stay open. Alright, and your third card of the month, and this is the unexpected, is the page of swords. So this is the right time to showcase your talent, you know, for recognition, for advancement, for endorsement is normally what this card means is, is, this is an apprentice ready to test skills. You know, again, this is a young person. This is the page. So ready to, you know, she's tuned up to the, to the enlightenment, the spiritual enlightenment. Her sword is pointed up and yet she's has her, her book open for her skills that she's learned, the lessons she's learned. Could be these lessons here. New opportunities to test your skills. So there may be something that comes up for some of you guys that you have the opportunity to move into a direction of 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 putting out skills and talents that you have not used yet or that you want to use. Say you've had a hobby for a long time and it's say you're a tarot reader, let's just say, and you thought about doing it and you're like, oh, okay, I guess I'll, I'll go on YouTube or I'll, um, I'll start doing readings for people. This is an unex, this could be an unexpected opportunity that comes your way. I'm just saying, or you could, um, I'm hearing candles, candelabra. That's interesting. Um, make a hobby into a into a business or, or test it out. Test the waters. This is where the unexpected may come into play for you. I love that this page of swords because your thinking is starting to clear up some. If you can get past this, and you will. This could also be a stinking thinking card. I call the five of cups that, but... But, you know, turn around, look at the positive side of life, and you can create new beginnings for yourself. Your thoughts are so important right now. See the, and your intuition, see the full moon. Or I'm doing this before the full moon on Sunday, which is the, in, is it in Virgo, I believe? Um, and I know it's a strong one. I know there's a lot of brouhaha around this full moon, but you can make it work for you, Pisces. You can make this full moon work for you. See the wise owl? Tune into it. Don't be afraid of using that intuition that that really serves your highest needs and allows you to be you. Okay, so the last card of the spread is the outcome card, and this is the six of pentacles. You have two pentacles. You have the five of Pentacles and the six. And the six, as you can see at the, the roof here, here's the six along there. There's actually six and a half, almost seven. But this is a card about sharing one's abundance with others, or you could be the recipient. So the outcome is that, you know, you could feel like you're more in harmony with your money. You could be, get past this, and you will feel like, you know, you're. You're in a sharing mode, or people are wanting to share with you their finances, or it could be about health concerns as well, that you're feeling your bodily health is getting better. I feel like for some of you, some of you Pisces, is not for all of you, but a few of you, um, I heard bodily fluids, so it may be drinking more water. Um, I also feel the upper... Ab, uh, not even abdomen, upper part, be right below the left rib cage. You know, there's so many of our digestive organs in that area, right? The colon and all of that. So just make sure that you, I know that this doesn't seem like it would come out of this card, but just make sure that you're taking care of your body. You get the rest. You know, this full moon may be draining on you so if you feel like you need to to lay down and if you have the time to do so say you work at home or you and you want to take a nap take a nap or you know you come home from work and you're tired let yourself get that rest be in harmony with your body okay i didn't expect for that to come out of this card but it did <clears throat> and um 
you may be in a charitable or someone may be in a charitable mode to you. This is like be kind to you month or be kind to <laughs> be kind to Pisces month, the end of the month. You know, just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to be kind to myself. If I'm if you're giving to others, be discerning because this guy has his hand behind his back. I don't know what he's hiding here, but he has one hand out. So, you know, just again be careful and cautious as to over giving to people. And that could be your time, your energy, your money. I just feel like your health is so important right now, Pisces. I really, really do. Okay. All right. So let's pull some clarification cards. I'm going to use the same cards. Let's see what comes up. This a couple of these wanted to come out. This happened also with um, Aquarius, like two at, at a time wanted to come out. So we'll let them. Well, there is celebration, three of cups. There's celebration around this moving on. This could be a physical celebration. This could be a party, a happening, a joyous get together. It's usually what this card indicates. It also feels to me like this is celebration within your own physical anatomy. You're just feeling more joyous once you feel like you can get away from this, away and move on. Then the lover's card comes up. You know, well, it could, it could be that some of you are going to weddings um, because I'm seeing celebration. This could be about weddings or, or graduation and here are two people in love. Maybe that's you're celebrating the essence of love or the person you're with. But I'm feeling like these are very auspicious cards, aren't they? This could be a committed relationship that you, you want to feel more joy about. Okay. Okay, around this five of pentacles. Yeah, because you're just wanting to feel happy home, happy family, happy life. You know, what does it take? Come on, right? I mean, I feel like some of you are saying, you know, I just, I just want to be happy and have enough money to pay the bills. And the, the high priestess comes up, and in this card they do, of course. Look how he's feeling very, like, job job well done. This is an earnings card. You're happy because you're, you're, your work has paid off. The high priestess comes up, and she's very psychic, very intuitive, very much could be you guys. Um, she... She has within her all of the knowledge that she needs. She also, um, some hidden secrets may come out. Some truths may come out. So pay attention to that. Um, yeah, another ready to move on. This is the eight of, of uh, wands, which this is usually eight rods flying through the air, if you remember. And then you have the eight of uh cups here you guys it's it's time things are moving sudden news changes opportunities in your workplace possibly um i think you're going to create a new venture for some of you guys are and yeah and then the page of pentacles comes up because you want to create you want to start creating magic around money you don't want to have to strive so hard for it it's it, it doesn't have to be that again i keep hearing that doesn't have to be this hard Oh, you have another page come up with the page of pentacles. This is a page of wands. And then you have the page of pentacles. So a work, money, important for you guys. Creating magic, like I said, both of these are young guys. So he may be sending out resumes. You may be putting your, your name out there saying, hey, this is, this is what I do. Um, yeah putting your name out, and the Knight of Pentacles comes up. So she's moving towards an opportunity. This is always about, the Knights are about moving towards a different direction. And so, and she has this big money in her hand. Something that's going to take some you somewhere. You've been a little bit afraid. You know, the Moon card comes up, and it's like, this is a scary path. Yes, it is. Make sure to look at the moon itself and not the reflection. Look at in depth at things. Use again, here we go with the psychic intuition. But this is not so unsimilar 
as you have a lot of moons. Look at this, Pisces. Lots of moons in your cards. Here's the Page of Swords, the High Priestess, and the moon itself. All right, so it may be that this full moon this Sunday is a game changer for you. Um, you're going to have, I feel like some of you are going to have opportunities to move on and to let, let the opportunities come to you. If this is you accepting, oh, here it is, excuse me. If this is you accepting from other people, so be it. If you need to accept money <clears throat> and donations and charity, well, Sometimes we do in life, right? Right? People know our intentions. All right, my friends, I'm going to add these up. Here's 8 and 5 is 13, 14, and 6 is 20. So 20 in, in numerology, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 2 is about being patient and diplomatic and peaceful. I very much get that that's what you all because I keep getting health with this. Just take care of your body, your health, and stay peaceful as, you, as much as you can. It's very, very important. Um, yeah, it's very important for you. Because in ma the Major Arcana cards, the 20 is the same as the Judgment card. And so rewards come up from what has been sown. It's a sense of rebirth, renewal. Um, looking at, you know, it, it, the judgment. So how does the judgment come out? It's new insight or direction changes in your life. So that is what the judgment card is about, which is so indicative of this particular card itself. 